As we mentioned earlier, the biggest solar storm in years is taking place right now. But while the light show may be spectacular to watch, the phenomenal flare-up is also packing a punch that could spell trouble for us here on Earth. Ron Charles explains why. For astronomy professor Paul Delaney, the best part of a solar storm is the light show that can happen when it kicks the aurora borealis into overdrive, allowing the northern lights to be seen as far south as Toronto. That is when the skies are not overcast. That's basically shimmering curtains of light in the night sky, and it's absolutely a magnificent spectacle to witness. So this is a terrific opportunity to go outside and look at the night sky. A photographer in Norway had clear skies for the display on Sunday night when the solar storm began. What we're experiencing at the moment is the aftermath of a coronal mass ejection. It's basically an eruption from the surface of the sun, which is not in itself unusual, but in this particular instance, both the CME uh, power and direction is substantial and towards the Earth. The resulting wave of radiation has the potential to disrupt satellites, telecommunications, even high-tension power lines. But none of that is likely. Your satellite um, communications could be disrupted. Your daytime uh, you know, satellite um, um, television shows could be disrupted. That level of activity as a transient phenomenon is possible. It's unlikely, but it is indeed a possibility. NASA checked on the astronauts on the International Space Station and they say no special precautions are needed there. The radiation is expected to be strongest over the North Pole. To be extra safe, some airlines, including Air Canada, have diverted a few Asia-bound flights that normally fly over the pole. Expect to see more solar storms of this size in the next few months. Currently, the sun is in a high activity cycle that's expected to peak in 2013. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.